In two weeks, perhaps the biggest movie opening of all time will take place when Star Wars The Force Awakens opens on December 18th. But for those who want to see a movie while avoiding the crowds, there's a more affordable option. The best movies are always family movies. Any of the Marvel movies that we've had. Always things that are rated PG. Ant-Man that we've had. Specifically for us, our best movie was Wreck-It Ralph. The Avengers. This was a couple previews. Brian DeChancio is the owner of Movies 8 in Boardman, Encore Cinema in Niles, and the Skyway Drive-In in Warren. Yeah, it's hard to afford to take several kids, you know, two first-run movies, and uh, we, again, can uh, make that a little bit easier for people. The first run, it's when any movies come out, they go to those theaters. So the movies coming out now, like Star Wars, things like that, they'll go to Tinseltown or Regal Cinema, which is the first run. Uh, once they're out for a while, for about five months or so, uh, depends on how well they do, they'll come to us, it's the second run theater. Up until the last few years, everybody ran 35 millimeter film for the previous hundred years or so. Other than a few theaters and drive-ins left across the country, 96% uh, of the industry has converted to digital projection, and which is, again, pretty much required if you want to stay in the business long term, because everything comes on hard drives now. The uh, studios now send the hard drives in these little cases through a distributor and the hard, uh, hard drives inside. You just stick it into the server. And after you insert the hard drive, it shows up on the server screen so you can actually select it. This one in particular was the walk. So when we want to, it's called ingest it to our server, just copy it to the server, we select the particular version that we need and just send it over and then it's stored on our internal hard drives on that particular server. And then from there, we just take it and create a show with it and it's literally drag and drop. Uh, the advertisements to play before, then whatever previews we'd like to play on there than the movie itself. So it's all little pieces that we put together on there that create one show. So first run theaters, all theaters in general, are still doing much better than some doom and gloom that people in the industry are, are talking. <laughs> In 2014, 1.27 billion movie tickets were sold in the U.S. and Canada, with an average cost of around $8.17. But DeChancio says theaters make most of their money selling concessions. A good portion of the ticket is repaid to the studio for running the movies, so you don't, you definitely don't make all of your revenue or your, you know, your income from the ticket sales. So concessions are extremely important. Mostly our popcorn. Um, people have been saying that it's best out of the theaters around here. Uh, they come sometimes people just come in for popcorn. Um, other times our candy does pretty well too. But yeah, it's mostly popcorn that sells a lot. And it looks like the DeChancio family will stay in the movie business. Brian's daughter Paige hopes to one day follow in her father's footsteps. I've known since a young age that I've wanted to do this. It always seemed like a fun thing to do and not the typical job that normal people have. And I've always loved it, loved being here, being around customers, employees, all that stuff. I don't think we'll ever be as busy as a Regal will be here um, specifically, but there is a good population of people that do come here because they want to save money or because we are friendly because we have good prices, whichever. There are, there's a good amount of people that do come and support us. We're giving the people what they want to see, all the different movies for cheap, uh, $3 a ticket, uh, $5 for 3D showing, so it's the cheapest place around here. Um, we just make them the best um, place they can be. I think our friendly service is one uh, and the great pricing. We just try to keep a more personal feel than the, the big chains because we care about customer. We're glad to have them and hopefully that they see them.